Hey guys, this is Zeta from Team Deck Dave, coming at you guys for another deck profile. The deck I'm, uh, that I'm playing with today is Cyber Dragons. Um, this is a Cyber Dragon Fusion OTK from 2013. I modified it so it plays Cyber Infinity. That way when you do get your fusions off, you can attack and not worry about any type of effects. Without well, further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. The first monster that I play is uh, Cyber Eternity. What he does is uh, he sends all face-up light monsters to the grave and then it banishes all of them and he gains 500 attack for each one. So he's really good when you just don't have any other options and you kind of wasted all your resources. You don't use him any other ways and you kind of don't want to. Alright, for the main monster of the deck we play three Cyber Dragons. Because of course this is, is a Cyber Dragon deck. Um, when, you, when your opponent controls a monster and you don't, you, special summon, you can activate his effect to special summon himself. Other than that, he's just a 21 beat stick, and uh, he he's the main guy you want to use when you're trying to get it going to him most of the time. But if you're not going first, this is he's kind of a dead draw. But there's a, there's a monster that I play that counteracts this. What we're about to get into. Uh, another monster I play is Cyber Galaxy. This is the monster I was telling you about that actually counteracts the Cyber Dragon when you're going first. Since he sends Cyber Dragon to special summon himself in defense, and on his on the summon, you get to search out for another one of Galaxy Soldier. But you can only activate the effect once per turn. But I know what you guys are thinking: how you still get into Cyber Infinity, which I'm about to get into here in just a second. Uh, let's go ahead and skip to the next monster. Another monster that I play that we're we're about to go into level fours is Cyber Dragon Dre. When he is normal summon, he turns all. Um, all cyber dragons into level four, level fives, and have to be cyber dragon. So, you know, you have galaxy on the field. You normal summon this guy. He becomes a level five. That way, you can overlay for infinity, and you can make your plays. So that's really all he's used for. Other than that, he's not really used for anything else. Uh, let's go ahead and get into our, our last level four. Honest. He's, he's there just in case Cyber Dragon Infinity is about to get attacked with some major damage and you don't have enough attack points. You, would, you Of course, you just ditch him. Your opponent kind of loses no matter what he plays. So that's the only reason why he's really in here. Uh, for level 2's I play, I play 3 Cyber Dragon Core, of course. He, you normal summon this guy, you search out for any Cyber Dragon card. And most of, I only play Cyber Dragon Repair Plant, so that's something you really would search out. And when he's in grave, you get to banish him to special summon Cyber Dragon when you control no monsters and your opponent controls one. So that, that really helps. And the last level 2 and last monster that I play is 3 Max E. I know what you guys are thinking. The reason why I play 3 of these is because I never really see them. So I was like, what the hey, am I supposed to play 3? And plus, this deck's really made just to go seconds since you really just want to get the OTK off. So, I mean, it's really good against Cosmos and a bunch of other things. You would side one of these out if you're playing a deck that's that's just going to give you give you he headaches. For spells, I play three Power Bond. Like I said, this is the uh, Fusion OTK deck from 2013. You you had to play three Power Bond. Um, you know, Power Bond for Cyber Twin. A lot of times I like to go into Power Bond for Cyber End. It's just funner and... You get to see your opponent cry when he gets hit for 8,000. It's a fun card. You just remember, though, on the end phase, you're taking wherever the original attack of the fusion monster is. You just gotta remember that. So you really want to finish off your opponent. Uh, another spell I play three of is three MST. The reason why I don't play Twin Twister is literally because you really don't want to ditch anything in this deck. So. When it comes to this, you just want to play MST. You don't want to ditch anything unless you're ditching core, but a lot of times you won't see him in the hand. You really just want to normal summon him. So, that's another card I play three. Another card I play three of is actually the main Cyber Dragon card in the deck in Cyber Repair Plant. Like I said, you can search it out with Cyber Dragon Core. And um, you can only activate this card when you have Cyber Dragons in the graveyard. you got to remember that. So, the core is in grave. You can activate to either A... Uh, search out for another light machine type monster or B you could put back a cyber dragon and you can add a uh, Light machine type if you have three more cyber dragons in the graveyard You can do both effects at the same time, but you can only activate cyber dragon repair plant once per turn So you can't activate after you're activated once um, Another spell that I play is two machine duplication 
I don't really have to explain this, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain it anyway. Of course, you normal summon Cyber Dragon Core, of course. You activate Machine Dupe, you get to special summon Cyber Dragons. Now, the card does say you have to special summon the monster that's 500 or less attack from the deck. But since Cyber Dragon Core counts as Cyber Dragon, you could actually special summon Cyber Dragon from the deck. So, it's really useful when you're trying to do uh, a OTK with Cyber Infinity, go into Nova, and then Power Bond. If you sh or you just want to do Power Bond, then Infinity. Whatever which way you want to do it. It's really when you have this card plus core and maybe a Power Bond, you really just have game. You can't do really do much after that. Another card I play, another spell card I play is two Instant Fusion. Um, Instant Fusion is for the targets for the level 5 machine monsters that's in the extra deck, which I'm going to get into in here in just a minute. Um, it's really there for Galaxy Soldier when you don't have another, if you don't have Drain or something. It's all that this really this card is in there for. Uh, another spell card I play is uh, Limiter Removal. You attack, you attack, activate. Your opponent just lose, especially on Cyber End. And basically, just an overall good card in the deck. Just remember they get destroyed in End Phase, but Infinity can negate it, and that's what makes that card really broke. I play another spell card I play is the upstart may you rest in peace you know for drawing another another way of drawing another card I play is evolution burst um, there was confusion on this card when you when you have uh, when you have cyber dragon you play this card and you try to go in for Nova and then infinity with or cyber twin you couldn't attack but you can attack with cyber infinity and cyber twin dragon since they don't count as cyber dragon themselves so you could attack afterwards. Just a really good card if you don't if you don't have MST and they only have one back row. Another spell card I play is Book of Moon. You know, put back your opponent's monster face down. I uh, like a card that I like to put face down is probably just probably if I had to think of one is a monster that has like a low attack point, low defense points, and you're about to go into Cyber Range just to do piercing damage. I also play Regeki and Dark Hole. Really, this is all just it's really explanatory since you know. Monster, big monsters are a thing. You kind of just want to just destroy them. That's really it for spells. I do play a couple traps. I play one trap stun to negate all, negate all the traps if I do go first. That way, if I go, when it's my turn, I can just negate all the traps on my draw phase and I can't do anything. And another way of drawing, just another rec three reckless greed. Um, if you do, it does happen sometimes when you just brick with the card, which does suck sometimes, but. Right now, this is the only way I can draw one out without messing myself up at the same time. But this card actually has not bricked on me yet, but I guess we'll see. See in a couple duels to see if I do. To see if I do. Now, let's go ahead and get into the extra deck. I play two Infinity. Like I said, this is a modified OTK fusion deck with Infinity. You know, he takes, he scoops us any, he uh, takes any monster as long as they're in attack mode. And he can negate any spell trap cards or monster effects as long as they're not counter traps. So pretty much like a gay version of Solanonic. If you want to say it like that. Honor <laughs> yes. Dark's better, cough, cough. Uh, of course, you have to play the two Novas to, you know, overlay into Infinity. Now, you can only use the effect of Infinity to overlay for Nova once per turn. You can't do it both at the same time. Just gotta remember that. So you get on the first turn, if you have Nova, if you have two Novas out, you can't top both Infinities over both Novas. You just you can't do that. It's part of his Infinity's effect. Uh, another, five, another rank five I play is Pallades. Um, just in case, you never know what you might need to bounce back. Maybe back row, maybe monsters you can't deal with. So uh, we could probably now is the fusions. I play two Cyber and Dragons. You really don't need to. I, me personally, I just love Cyber Rain. He's just an overall. I just, I just love this card. I loved it ever since, uh, since the card actually came out. But you really don't have to run to. It just, I, I just like running to. There's always a situation where you could always go for a second one. I also play two Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. You know, against the Cosmo matchup. Just get just a special summon Cyber Dragon, then all machines they control will go to grave, including Cyber Dragon. They won't get none of their effects, and you get a special summon this guy. And at least he'll he will at least be at least 2,000 attack if they only have one. But that's enough to you know do some damage. Next piece I play is Cyber Twin Dragon, since you know 
Uh, he can attack twice and you can use power bond limiter removal. You can attack over the monster and then you can attack directly with it with the monster. And usually usually if you bring this out with limiter removal and you probably really have a back row, they kinda just lose. There's really never a situation when I brought out this card I lost. So it's pretty good. For our instant fusion targets, we have Panther Dragon, the new Rampage Dragon, and two Cyber Sources. I know what you guys are thinking, why don't you just run two Panther Dragons and just not run any of this? Me personally, I just like Cyber Source. I play I used to play this card back when you when Yu-Gi-Oh was the original and I just love bringing them out. It's never never really a bad situation when this card ever just came came really bad. Uh, the last fusion I play is Thousand Nights of Strix since, you know, this card just came off the list and he can just about take anything except for anything that can't be targeted. Uh, other than that, I do have a sideboard. We got seven tools of the bandit just for, uh, what was that negation deck? And if we're getting against any traps, really, triple pair on wall for, you know, Cosmos, Cosmos and Monarchs. Tunes. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror for Monarchs. Cosmos. BA. That too. Vanities for anything that really specials. And double chain disappearance for Monarchs. You know, really, people really don't run this card, but I, I think it's pretty good. Since you get to banish all the little level 1 bastards and just get rid of them, and they really can't do much afterwards. Or and the they, level 2. Or the level 2. You can also get rid of him with this. And it's just overall just a decent card. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the deck profile and have a good one.